Good afternoon guys, Daniel back here from Single Mole Jack and welcome back to the channel. I've got a really, really exciting uh, show for you guys today. So stay tuned. As you can see, I'm sitting here with our brand new Adventure Keg. So I really want to just give you a bit more detail and um, give you a bit more of an insight of how they work, what they are, what they do. Um, as you can see, I've got this one filled up with uh, Black Hops Hornet beer. I'm not going to talk too much about the beer today, but we are going to have a good chat about the kegs. Yeah, you can me up. <laughs> Would you like a beer? So before I get started, I'm just gonna get into this Black Hops beer. It's their IPA Hornet. Uh, just got this filled up. We've got two, two kegs uh, filled up. So one with their Hornet, which is their 6% IPA, and it's an absolute cracking beer. Mm. And that is fresh from their tap room. I'm not gonna talk too much about the beer because I've got my cousin Fireman Steve coming. As you can see, we're out camping, Queen Mary Falls, and it's just a fantastic winter's afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful. Sitting here at this picnic table in my, uh, my t-shirt and pants and having such a great time. So, what have we got here? Well, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So, it is the Adventure Keg by Single Malt Jack, okay? It is essentially a four liter pressurized growler, okay? So, all stainless steel construction, it's double insulated, okay, vacuum vacuum walls, so it's just a fantastic little growler here, okay. It, it'll keep your beer cold for up to eight hours, okay, about six to eight hours. I've had this one uh, filled up yesterday at the tap room, nice, fresh and cold, um, out of their tanks, and I've had it sitting in my uh, car fridge, in my camping fridge for about 24 hours now, and it's been chilling at one degree, so this is gonna be nice and nice and cold. This is the first one I've poured um, today, and uh, it's just got a nice froth to it. It's nice and fresh, um, plenty of CO2 in it. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Just wanted to give you a bit more of an insight about the keg. So what, what I love about these is you can go down to your local brewery, okay? Get them filled up. So I've got this one here, it hasn't got beer in it. Okay, but as you can see in here, this is, this is essentially the growler. So it's got all stainless steel construction, um, 316 stainless steel. It's got really nice threads to it. It's good, good quality stuff. Uh, we've branded it the Adventure Keg. Uh, really, really insulated, so it's like your, your thermos for, for hot water. Um, only we're going to be putting beer in this one. Um, so, so that's your keg there. Um, what we've then got is is the drip tube. Um, so the the the, the filler um, spout there that picks up the beer, and we've got a really, really nice quality tap on it. So this is uh, similar to a to an inter tap, um, which is our this is our own brand. And as you can see, it's got a flow control lever on it because your beer line is so short, you don't have a lot of uh, resistance on that beer line. So essentially you need to regulate the control so you don't get too much froth in your beer from such a, a small, uh, such a small uh, keg. Mm. Great work, Black Hops. That, um, that Hornet is absolutely fantastic. Brewed, brewed, brewed really, really well. Um, and what we've also done is I've got a, a local guy here on the Gold Coast to uh, to fab up these custom handles for us. So they, they come in a whole different variety of timbers. Um, this one is a is an oak, some kind of an oak from some Western Australia gold mine or something like that. He, he rattles off all these different names that I've never ever heard of. Um, but we've got all these different types of timbers. You can see this one up here is a is a different type again. I've got some Jarrah, there's some um, hue and pine in there from Tassie. There's all sorts of different stuff. Um, everyone is custom made, it's hand turned on the lathe uh, and he just does an absolutely fantastic job. So as part of the kit, you get this custom handle on here. And this tap, from what we've seen and what we've experienced works so well. Um, on the other side, you've got this uh, mini regulator. So it's just a gas regulator on here and you can, you can shut it off and you can turn it the whole way and you've got a little gauge on here. So when you're pouring your beer out, you want to be somewhere between five and 10 PSI, okay? And what you want to do is roll your tap on with 
the flow control gauge closed on there and then you want to essentially move that gauge and, and get, that, uh, get that beer flowing as you saw me do before. Um, so this takes a little 16 gram cartridge as you can see on this one over here with the beer in it, it's got that 16 gram cartridge on there and that'll last a full pour of the four litre keg and then there's usually a little bit in there to, um, to be able to clean the keg and flush it out at the end of it. Across the back here is just a pressure relief valve so before you start unscrewing stuff and opening stuff uh, you just want to release the pressure from the keg which is, which is really important. Uh, and there's a fair bit of weight to this assembly here, to this stainless steel collar. It's got really really nice quality threads on it good silicon seals on there um, and when you actually go <coughs> to fill up your beer you can actually take that part and put that separately oh, so right you can you can actually move you can actually move that um, across there and then you can put the cap straight on the top like that all right so that can just go on there seals up like that and then you've got your growler that you can just put straight straight in the fridge so I've just put these straight in my camping fridge I can fit I don't know maybe four or six of them in there um, but you can also just get a separate um, growler like that and then you can just grab the top off there and then put it put it straight on the top when you when you're ready to go when, when you're ready to drink your beer so there you have it that's the adventure keg we've just launched this um, by single malt jack okay so stay tuned we've got a bit of a product launch coming this weekend I've got my fireman cousin Steve coming uh, tomorrow afternoon so we're going to do a bit of a review on the black hops beer we've got their pale ale and their ipa which they call their hornet so stay tuned for that and we'll uh, give you a bit more of a rundown cheers guys yeah you can clap now <laughs> would you like a beer <laughs> <laughs> oh inside there yeah. has it been cold Yeah, nice. So what do you guys think of my um, kegs? Yeah, it looks really good. They look cool? Yeah. Really cool. Fantastic. We've, we've, just, we've just launched them, so they're only just hit the market. Okay. Yeah, so four litre keg. And uh, you can fill it up at a brewery. Yeah. And it keeps your beer cold. It's all insulated, double insulated. So your beer stays cold for up to eight hours. Oh, okay. I think they look fantastic. <laughs>